Good morning. It's uh, my pleasure to welcome you to the Subcommittee on uh, Labor, Health, and Human Services and Education to discuss the fiscal year 2016 National Institutes of Health budget request. We're looking forward to uh, hearing the testimony of Dr. Collins and some of his distinguished colleagues. I'd like to publicly thank Dr. Collins and the staff at uh, NIH for hosting me and five other subcommittee members for a briefing and tour of the NIH campus a few weeks ago. Uh, I think it's safe to say we all left the NIH with a deeper appreciation of the exciting work your staff uh, do every day to find ways to save lives. The scope of biomedical research supported through and at the NIH is wide, and we're confident that thanks to the talented staff and scientists that work there, we'll one day find cures for diseases like cancer and Alzheimer's. Ensuring a sufficient basic my biomedical research base and supporting the next generation of researchers is critical to pave the way for these long-term advancements. Your budget assumes many areas of enhanced spending on uh, genomic activity, including a focus on Ebola, universal flu vaccine, antibiotic resistance, and Alzheimer's research, to list only a few. Of course, we all support biomedical research. Unfortunately, right now, sequester is the law of the land. And given uh, the reality of funding allocations, we might not be able to do uh, everything that the administration is proposing absent a larger bipartisan budget agreement, one, quite frankly, that I hope we achieve. Uh, I look forward to having a discussion with you this morning uh, on your top priorities for this year, given our funding uh, constraints. I would also be remiss if I did not point out how important it is to ensure that we continue to focus on the next generation of investigators. We know how long it takes for a new drug or treatment to make it from lab to the patient. So without a pipeline of young researchers committed to following the scientific process of investigation and experimentation, we won't be able to find the cures we seek. Today, we welcome Dr. Francis Collins, the NIH Director, to the subcommittee. Dr. Collins is accompanied by five of his distinguished institute directors who can assist in answering specific member questions. They are uh, Dr. Anthony Foshi, the Director of National Institute of Allergy and Infectious Diseases, Dr. Thomas Ensel, the Director of the National Institute of Mental Health, Dr. John Lorsch, the Director of the National Institute of General Medical Sciences, Dr. Nora Valko, the uh, Director of the National Institute on Drug Abuse, and Dr. Gary Gibbons, the Director of the National Heart, Lung, and Blood Institute. As a reminder to the subcommittee and our witnesses, we will abide by the five-minute rule. And before we begin, I'd like to yield the floor to my chairman, the gentleman from Kentucky. Uh, after that, we'll move to our ranking members, the gentlelady from Connecticut, and then to the gentlelady from New York, our uh, ranking uh, member on the subcommittee, or, so, or excuse me, on the full committee. Uh, so with that, uh, Mr. Chairman, you're recognized. Mr. Chairman, thank you very much. 